Hello, everyone. Welcome. You are in your virtual learning classroom and you're thinking to yourself, I wish I had a co-teacher. I wish that I had a co-teacher to engage those really um, unengageable students. I, Max, hold on. I wish I had somebody to help the shy students. I wish I had somebody just to break up the monotony of the online classroom. If only I had somebody that I could go with and kind of boss around and I would know what they were doing. If only, Max, hold on a second. If only, hey, Max, I have an idea. Why don't you be my co-teacher today? Are you ready? Okay, let's do this. My name's Angie and this is Max and welcome to Teachers Making the Basics Fun live stream. So good to have you here today. Today, we're talking about using puppets in our virtual learning classroom. Puppets are a great addition to what you're doing in your classroom. Let's hear from you. Uh, are you here for the first time? Are you here for a second time? Go ahead and put your uh, name and where you're teaching, or maybe you're just a homeschool mom. Just. <laughs> uh, you get a million dollars if you're a, a homeschool mom. And you're wondering how to use puppets really in your regular classroom and in your virtual learning classroom. So today we're gonna to do something a little special, right, Max? Today we're gonna to do a morning message lesson using Max as the co-teacher. Are you ready? If at any time you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Max likes thumbs up, don't you, Max? Oh, you like it when they subscribe too. Okay, well, you heard Max. Thumbs up and subscribe. All right, here we go. So one of the things that you do in your virtual classroom is a morning message. And morning messages are kind of like the cornerstone of any kindergarten and first grade classroom. So today, let's go ahead and go on over to the Um, um, hello, Andrea, you've been here before. Yes, you have. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to do our morning message and Max is going to help us out. And, um, actually let's come back over here. When I do a virtual learning lesson, I always try and keep it exactly the same. So the students know what to expect during the lesson. And so I start off with this and let's go ahead and just mm, scene. <laughs> good morning, kindergartners. How are you? It is so good to see you today. We have so many things that we are going to learn. The first thing I want to cover though, is if you hear me say, what does the M say? I want you to call back Mmm, 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 mmm. You got that, Max? Ready? Let's practice. What does the M say? Mmm, 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 mmm. Good. Hello, Don. Hello, Amy. Welcome. I'm in my virtual classroom. I'm kind of modeling what a morning meeting would look like in a virtual classroom. So good morning. All right. S kindergartners. When you hear that, that's what I want you to do, okay? Also, Max, I have a little surprise today. Are you ready for the surprise? Let me tell it to you. Max, are you excited? Do you wanna tell everybody what we're gonna to do today? You don't? You're a little shy and you don't wanna talk? Okay. Well, how about you be in charge of the surprise? What is the surprise? Well, the surprise is every time I see or Max sees my students paying attention, using their voice in a good way, you are going to get a, mm-hmm, a popsicle. Max, don't eat the popsicle. Max, don't eat the, Max, 
Max, you know where the popsicle is going to go? It's going to go over here on the music stand so we can keep track. Can you put it over there for me? Okay, don't eat it. Okay, all right. Thank you, Max. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Max will be in charge of putting up the popsicles when he sees or I see people doing a good job. All right. Oh, what does the M say? Mm, 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 mm. Excellent job. I saw five people paying attention and doing the mm song. Max, should they get a popsicle for that? I think so, too. Let me get it for you. Don't eat it. Max, don't eat it. Don't eat it. All right. Super. All right. Let's go ahead and get on with our morning message. Mrs. K is going to bring up the morning message paper and you all know what to do. We've done morning message before. Let's go ahead and write it. And as I write it, I want you reading it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me Miss K, make that bigger. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Good morning. Very good. Are you ready? Good morning. Your turn. Ready? Good morning. Excellent job. Today, today is Wednesday. Oh, Max, Wednesday is hard to spell. I am just going to do my best. I think that's right, though. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wednesday, September, September. Uh, tw what is today? You're right. Yesterday was the 22nd. That means today is the, mm-hmm, the 23rd. Can everyone say 23rd? Ready? 23rd. Your turn. 23rd. Excellent job. Max, did they do a good job? Yep, they did. And what's the year, Max? Ask the boys and girls, ask the kindergartners. You don't know? Okay. Kindergartners, put the year in your hand. Are you ready? Let it go. Max, did you hear that? 2020, they are right. Here's today's sentence, are you ready? Today, we will do a leaf project. Do you know what leaves are, leaves are, Max? I know, sometimes you say a leaf, like one, and sometimes we say leaves, like many. That's plural, many leaves. You got it? Okay. I know that leaf and leaves is a really kind of tricky thing. Let me ask you a question, Max. Do you like fall? Do, do you like fall? You don't know what fall is? Like when you fall down? Uh, no, not like when you fall down. Fall is actually a season. We have winter, we have spring, we have summer, and we have fall. N no, Max, not fall. Don't fall. Okay, come on up here. All right, let's go ahead. And Max, I'm going to put this in the sleeve like I always do. And we're going to do a little activity. Are you ready? So teachers, what I am, Amy says hello to you, Max. She is saying hello, Max. I am going to put this in the little sleeve so we can do some work. Today, Max, we are looking for the letter M. 
Are you ready, Max? Let's look for the letter M. Max has his magnifying glass out. Kindergartners, you get your magnifying glass out. Here we go. When you see an M, I want you to wiggle your fingers. All right, Max, can you wiggle your fingers? Oh, Max can wave. So let's go ahead. We'll wave when we see an M. Are you ready to skim and scan? Here we go. Yes, Max, very good. I found an M too. Kindergartners, did you find an M? That's not an M? Oh, it looks a little like an M, Max. You're right, that's an N. Today is Wednesday. Did you see any M's, Max? How about in September? Ah, how many saw an M? Excellent, kiss your brain. Good job paying attention. You know what, Max? I see kids paying attention. Let's go ahead and put up another popsicle. How many popsicles should we get? What happens if we get all the popsicles, Max? No, I think that's too fun. That is too fun for the kindergartners. They, they will just know. Okay, we could do that. Max wanted to go to Disney World. <laughs> I said, no, Max, but how about, how about freeze dance afterwards? You got it. We have three already. And let's see if we can get two more kindergartners, two more. Here we go. Let's keep looking for those M's, skimming and scanning. Is your magnifying glass out? Are you looking? Hmm. Max, I don't see any other M's. Let's see how many M's we had today. Are you ready? One, two. We had two M's. Let's make a little, little chart down here. Max, since there were so few M's, Maybe we can find some A's because you know what? A's are everywhere. Should we look for A's? All right, let's look for A's. That's the one we did last week, isn't it? Do you remember A? Good. Uh-oh, Max. Who let the M out? Mm, 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 mm. Very good. I see some people with their fingers up skimming and scanning. Here we go looking for an A. Hmm. Aha. A. Keep going. Wednesday. There's an A. Are we going fast? Oh, Mac, Max, we are going so fast. A. Good job. Are we finding A's? Yes. Wiggling our fingers when we find those A's. Max, there are a lot more A's than M's. Let's count the A's, Max. Should we? Here we go. Everybody ready? One, two, hmm, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Which had more, M's or A's? Everybody, put it in your hand. Are you ready? Let it go. You're right. The A's are the winner today. Very, very good. All right. So, A popsicle. Very good. All righty. Don't eat it. Max, we have four popsicles. Look at this, Max. We have four popsicles already. We need only one more. Are you ready for this, Max? Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to our morning message. And let's do one more thing with our morning message. I'm going to flip this over because today's letter is the letter M. And we need to think of some words that start with the letter M. Who let the M out? Mm, 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 mm. Good job. So what are some words that begin with the letter M? Kindergartners, you think about it too. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a silly one. Okay. 
All right, let's see how many they came up with. Let's go ahead and unmute your mic. Unmute, unmute your mic. We want to hear from you and you and you and you. Unmute your mic. Unmute, unmute your mic. We want to hear from you and you and you and you. Jessica, I see your hand up. I see your sign up. What is a word that begins with M? M. Excellent. Money. <laughs> I think that might be one of my favorite M words. So let's go ahead and write money here. How would we draw money, Jessica? Sounds good. Let's just do a coin and let's put 25 cents on that, all right? Because that's how much a quarter is. Another M word. Mm, let's see who's paying attention here. Yes, I see him too. Sam. Sam, what is an M word? I know, I like how they're all being quiet. Should we give him one more popsicle while Sam's thinking? All right, one more popsicle. I think we're gonna get us. I think we're gonna get a uh, freeze dance. I think we're gonna get a freeze dance. We'll have to count them in just a little bit. Sam, what is your M word? Monkey, excellent, excellent. Oh my word, I saw that. Monkey starts with an M. Max, I can't draw monkey very good. I am just gonna do my best. Kindergartners, you're gonna be drawing some M words too, and they might look really, really silly. My, my thing went off. Miss K, whoa, there it is. All right, Th that kind of looks like a monkey. It kind of looks like a cat too. <laughs> you do your best, I'll do my best. Okay, kindergartners, monkey. Let's get one more M word. Who let the M out? Mm, 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 mm. Good, eyes here. Thank you, kindergartners, excellent job. Um, let's see, Shaniqua, M word. I see you have an M word. Oh, magic. I like that word. Magic. Monkey ends with a Y. Money ends with a Y. Magic does not end with a Y. They all begin with M. Money, monkey, magic. You say it with me, ready? Money, monkey, magic. Excellent job. Max, how are we gonna draw magic? Hmm, how about a hat with a rabbit coming out? How would that be? Um, and a magic wand. La, 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 la. All right, magic. Kindergartners, let's go ahead and read our M words. Are you ready? Monkey. Mm, oh, Miss K, that doesn't say monkey. That says money. I must have a monkey brain. Ready? Money. Monkey. Magic. Who let the M out? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Kindergartners, excellent job. So fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look and see. Max, do you see what I see? I see five. I think there's five. Mm, popsicles over there. Max, will you go over there and point to them and count them? Let's go ahead and bring it over so the kids can see. Okay. All right. Max, are you ready? Every time we put one over, everybody do a little hooray. All right, ready? One, hooray. Two, hooray. Three, hooray. Four, hooray. And five, hooray. Max, are you excited? Me too. Let's go ahead and do a 
Are you sure? Max wants to do a freeze dance, but he wants to do it with his eyes closed. Max, are you sure you want to do it with your eyes closed? Did you change your mind? I think that's a good idea. Doing a freeze dance with your eyes closed might not be safe, Max. I'm not sure, but I think we should keep our eyes open. Okay? All right. So, scene. And so, you would do the... Um, uh, freeze dance with your students. You would give them an assignment at the end to go and write down their monkey words and things like that. And, um, and Max would be here the whole time. All right. I think you got a little bit of a taste of my morning message was pretty short. Usually we would practice the days of the week and the months of the year and talk about periods and capitals and all that kind of stuff. And answer the question, do you like fall? And maybe do a little graph. All right. And Max could help out with that. And um, that's one of the ways you can use a puppet. Now, when I use Max, some of the puppets that I really like to use in my classroom are like Max. They're bigger and they can wave. And right now my fingers aren't quite there, but they can open their mouth, all right, so that they can do stuff like this. And I'm kind of looking at my, sorry, I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at myself. <laughs> and that's one of the dangers with a puppet is that you want to see how he looks. So you look away from your, your students and your camera. So try not to do that. I know that I modeled that poorly, but you get the idea. Some other puppets that I have in my classroom that I don't like as well, and when you're getting your puppet, you might want to take this into consideration. Here's a zebra that I thought would be good because they just open their mouth and things like that. But there's no hand. And if you can see, you can't really see their eyes. So try and grab a puppet that you can see their eyes. Um, also, can you imagine Max with a little um, mask on? He would be adorable. Um, another, and I got these actually at the Goodwill. Another one that uh, is okay, but not great, are these that just the hands move. See how much uh, less effective they are? If their hands move and their um, mouth moves, much more effective and a little bit bigger. And then I have a tiger here too. He's pretty cute. His head is big, but see how his eyes pop out? That's, that's probably one of the better ones. So, you guys, do you have any questions? Let's hear from you. Uh, any, anything that you are wondering about um, with things about puppetry and your classroom? <laughs> Don, you liked the magic. Awesome. <laughs> I know. And kids come up with the, the, the cutest little things. Um, they will engage with a puppet much more than they will with you, and they will not be as shy if a puppet asks them. I don't feel comfortable using the voice of a puppet, but I think as I practiced, I would probably um, get more comfortable with that. Also, getting your puppet up close to the camera is really fun. They like it when when they do that and when they here's another great um prop for your virtual learning classroom is a magnifying glass you can say max are you ready and they just they go crazy about magnifying glasses all right so any questions about puppets i just want to tell you teachers that Adding puppets to your virtual classroom is fun. It's a little bit stressful. And I just want to encourage you. You are doing an amazing job with or without a puppet. Virtual teaching is just tricky. It is hard. It takes a lot of energy, probably more energy than the classroom because when you're doing virtual teaching, 
the camera just eats up all of your energy. Like right now, I feel like I am like, blah, 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 blah. and I know I'm not coming across like that, right? So um, how do you work out the muting and size of class hand raising online? That's, that is really tricky. And that's one of the things that virtual teachers, especially with the little kids, have a really hard time with. Um, many of the um, platforms that you use your virtual teaching with, they have a mute and unmute for your students. So you can actually mute and unmute them if they are um, going back and forth. But also, um, let me grab this really fast. And that's another thing. When you're doing virtual teaching, you have to have everything like right around you. When I used to do it, I had a table on one side of me, I had another table on the other side of me, and I would just scooch out <laughs> because everything, everything needed to be um, um, close by. You can't just say, hold on students and walk across your classroom as soon as you're done. Or my lighting is horrible today. So this says, I am raising my hand. So if students have something like this, they can go ahead and put it up and you can see it without them having to use their voice. If you have their microphones muted, so you have this. And if they have a question, um, they can put this. Because I try to teach them having something to say and having a question are similar but not the same. And we go into a lot about the difference between having something to say and having a question, all right? Um, a lot of times when you're doing virtual teaching, kids, uh, they're, they're like, I have to go to use the restroom, just like in the regular classroom, right? I have to, um, you know, do this, that, or the other thing. There's a lot more distractions in their home than the classroom. And you have no control over what's going on in their environment, which is so tricky. I, <laughs> uh, I've gone to the restroom with students um, and I'm like, honey, don't take me into the restroom. Don't take me into the restroom or down a hallway or even in a car. And it's, it's when you're looking at their screen, it's just like, I am gonna just throw up. Um, so um, many of the platforms have a way for you to mute and to shut off their um, uh, camera, which is super important, especially for privacy, okay? So that's one of the ways um, you can use this. So feeling comfortable with, a yeah. It, you know, give yourself some, some grace in this because what you're doing is hard. And really the most important part of your virtual lesson is you and your, your teacherness and your loveliness and your passion for your students and your passion for teaching them and just the love that you are giving back and forth to your students. The things like the magnifying glass and the puppet and the, the sound machine and all the things are fun and they do bump it up to the next level, especially after you've done a few lessons, the newness of the virtual learning classroom starts to wear off and your students are gonna need a little bit more of an engagement, right? It's Cause they could just get up and leave. <laughs> but, um, um, but be good to yourself. You are doing a good job and just keep going. The situation is not ideal and you were not trained to do this. But each time, try and do a little bit more. And if you can't, you know what? Showing up with a smile on your face and a giggle in your, in your voice and, and helping your students through their day, that's the most important thing. So keep doing that. You're doing an awesome job. I am proud of you. So keep going. Any other questions out there? What else can I help you with? I am here for you. If you have any other questions or um, ideas after the live stream, you can plop them down in the comment section. The live stream comments go for another mm, two minutes and I try and get a whole bunch in there, but eh, sometimes they are. I can get it and sometimes I can't. So 
Remember, if you liked today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Looks like we already have three thumbs up. Thank you very much. And remember to subscribe and to um, make sure that um, if you liked today, go ahead and share it with a friend and things like that. All right, Don, let's see what you're saying. Uh, you are such an encourager. Appreciate you and for, for sharing with us. Oh, that's one of the things I do best and what I feel like that's the reason I'm here. So thank you for that. That is so super sweet. Thank you, Don. And Don and Amy and Andrea, thank you for showing up today. I really appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, we just got another thumbs up. Thank you very much. And I will see you next week. Next week, we're going to dive into a little bit of what to do when your students er finish early in your classroom, either in their virtual learning classroom with their assignments or in the regular classroom with the, the social distancing. You can't just throw um, a group together and say, play with these Legos anymore. You have to have a different strategy. And next week, we're going to dive into that just a little bit and um, give you some strategies for that. So again, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. You got five popsicles. Go ahead and go do a, uh, a freeze dance on your own. All right. Sounds good. I love you guys. God bless. Bye-bye.